Hello, I'm joined today by my guest, Lisa Williamson from No Letting Go. Uh, Lisa is the head of compliance there at No Letting Go. And we're here today to try and answer some very commonly asked questions when it comes to claiming deposits back and, and disputes that may arise. Um, and these things tend to sort of follow the same pattern every time there is a commonality um, between a, a, a lot of these things because they do very often come up um, and we always as agents we always don't know whether or not something is classed as wear and tear or whether something is actually um, torn beyond belief and, and needs to be repaired and we're very surprised sometimes with some of the answers given at it during adjudication so here to cast some light on that is lisa um lisa welcome thanks very much david thank you very much for inviting me along today well we're going to cover another point here that you may think is mundane and i'm sorry to to talk toilets with you but yeah. we're going to have to do it um toilet seats again uh you you may be mistaken for for thinking that this is the part of the house that probably gets a lot of wear and tear from all the family. It's constantly bearing weight um, and hinges go. Things are not, you know, things get broken the whole time. Um, but where does a landlord sit with with that? So not, to speak. Not, not, on not the literally. <laughs> Okay, so um, an adjudicator will take in, you know, they'll look at the length of the tenancy, the type of tenants. So you mentioned the family, you know, if the landlord is allowed a family, there's going to be more wear and tear. Stu you know, we're coming up now to student type of time of year, all the students are moving out. You know, landlords will generally put in a, you know, the cheapest toilet seat possible, and I don't blame them because they know they're going to have to replace it at the end of the tenancy. But on the other hand, you know, if you've got a nice thick perspex toilet seat with a soft closed lid and the landlord can, you know, validate that that was bought at the start of the tenancy and cost £75. Um, and it's considered that the tenants have misused it. I mean, it, it takes some doing to rip a toilet seat completely off, particularly when it's, um, you know, a, a good standard, a good quality toilet seat. So, you know, it, in summary, we take uh, an adjudicator will take each toilet seat on its merit, so to speak, <laughs> and will consider time at length of tenancy, type of tenants, quality of toilet seat. Oh, the glamour of the adjudicator's job, <laughs> the things that they must see. Um, uh, superb. 